Go right to the man at the top of the Republican pack. Donald Trump joins us right now. Mr. Trump, congratulations on your victory. We have so much to talk about this morning, but I want to start with the Republican frontrunner, Donald Trump. Last night, as you probably heard, in fact, you put it all over your show, I was in Michigan and it was an amazing crowd. This, this took on a life of its own. You covered it better than anybody in terms of the lines. You see the thousands of people standing on line. Chris, the reason he says it. War. Put it through your head. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Believe me, I live it. We go to these places, we cover these things. We understand the threat very well, and you know that because you get a lot of your information from us, as you tell us. I watch your show, and I watch other shows. And you have one of the best generals, we the do. best every retired people. We have people, great okay? staff. When Trump arrived, he was happy to see us. Hey, CNN. Come here, CNN. <laughs> well, what happened is we were talking over each other, and it wasn't Anderson's fault because I think Anderson is terrific. I thought he did a fan. I thought it was a great evening. You know, this is what got you wound up on the Philadelphia Inquirer front page like Hitler. They got you okay. in, a, in, a, in a personage of Hitler right now, a characterization of that. That has to bother you. Or compare you to Hitler. There are newspaper covers. You know where, where things Does bother that bother you? No. You said, I'm no different from a politician running for office. Are, have you considered yourself a politician? Because you're out well, there I, saying I, that you're I, not. I, I, but Mr. Trump, that's the first time I've ever heard of you, you know, call yourself a, a politician, refer to yourself as a politician. And I mean, are you, did you ever consider I yourself a politician? I hate to different? do it. I hate to do it. Yeah, I understand. You're saying that you, you did not mean to suggest that Megyn Kelly was having her period. You were of saying... Of course that, I okay. did. Jake. Who would ever mock somebody, especially if you're running for office? Well, I would your, never do that. Let message? me just explain this to you. Yeah. Usually they're the pundits that have been wrong for ever. The ones that have been wrong about me. Not you, because you've been right about me, and I appreciate it. <laughs> the Pope, I hope, can only be scared by God. Is the ceiling open you over hey, here right now? The, well, I have a lot more than a billion dollars if I want to do that. I don't know. I haven't made that decision I would yet. think Ivanka I might have say, phase two. Enter the Ivanka public might not like the idea. <laughs> right. no. And you know, I'm a huge fan of your mother. I don't know. You know, your mother and well, my mother. Well, she's watching right now, so don't say anything about me. She'll be very upset. Well, you know I'm how she felt about your, your parents. Mother, and my mother loved your mother. And, you know, they knew each other from Queens. They went to the same beauty parlor together, We grew up right? in the same place. That's right. Mr. Trump, thank you so much. Good luck in Nevada. We'll see you on the campaign trail, and congratulations again. We appreciate your calling in. We appreciate your taking my questions. I hope you have a good Sunday. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Jake. Great honor. You know, I'm really honored. I, I, I'm honored by your call. Thank you very much, Jake. Great honor.